Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous uh, videos related to the subject of uh, optoelectronics, we discussed about the optical phenomena of diffraction and interference. So in this video, we will discuss about another optical phenomena uh, that is polarization. Okay, so we will discuss the basic concepts about polarization without going into much detail about it just to give you an idea about what polarization is and how uh, it will be uh, used in the optoelectronics uh, subject just the basic concepts okay now already in the video related to the basic concepts related to light we discussed that uh, light is an electromagnetic wave with uh, transverse characteristics that is it consists of both electric and magnetic field vectors which oscillate which vibrate in mutually perpendicular directions and uh, the electric and magnetic field vectors they are oriented uh, at 90 degree angle with respect to each other and also at 90 degree with respect to the direction of propagation of light now the electric vector of uh, the light wave is of utmost importance in the subject of optoelectronics because this vector the electric vector is responsible for almost all optical phenomena every optical phenomena of interest it involves only electric vectors so the electric vector is also called as light vectors and always this comes into play when any optical phenomena, any use of optics along with other branches, especially in optoelectronics, the electric vector will, uh, will be discussed. Will, it will uh, be uh, the topic of discussion. Now, the basic nature of the light wave, as I said, you can visualize it in terms of the three coordinate axes x, y and z. If you take the z axis to be the direction of propagation of light, the direction in which the light wave travels, then the x axis will be you can take as the electric field and y axis as the magnetic field. So they are three mutually perpendicular lines, okay, they are oriented at three mutually perpendicular directions. The direction of propagation of light, the electric field vector and the magnetic field vector. But, uh, but polarization, where does that come? So actually what happens is that in light waves, the electric and magnetic field vectors, they are oriented at random directions. And by random direction, I mean that the angle between the electric and magnetic field vector is 90 degree that was fixed that that doesn't change also the angle between uh, the direction of propagation of light is also 90 degree both the vectors are at 90 degree with respect to the direction of propagation of light but they are oriented at any direction it can be at any direction pointed to this side or that side or this side any any direction the angle between the two vectors is 90 degree okay that is constant but at which direction they are pointing that is random that is arbitrary there is no any there is no fixed rule about that okay so sometimes they point towards the top sometimes towards uh, at any any 360 degree they can be at any angle so that creates a problem so what polarization process is it is a process of the restricting the vibrations of light wave that is especially the electric vectors or the light vectors to bring them in one direction or into one plane of oscillation into one plane okay to confine all the oscillating light vectors okay the electric vectors which are also called as light vectors to bring all the oscillating electric vectors to one plane or to one direction to get them to point in one direction 
all the electric vectors should point in one direction see here in this case the electric vectors are pointing towards the top here they are down sometimes they will point towards a 45 degree uh, let's say east then i'm considering the i'm just giving you an example sometimes they will point towards west sometimes north south northeast northwest so just to give you an idea so at any angle 360 degree so polarization brings them all in one plane in one direction okay so it is of utmost importance so in order to achieve certain effects polarization process is uh, used to bring all the electric light vectors in one direction so see what polarization does is that it brings all the electric vectors these blue vectors are the electric vectors they are brought in one plane okay and point towards one direction here they point towards the top it can be in any direction but they should be in one direction they should confine be confined to one plane of oscillation one plane of vibration so the plane in which the electric vectors are confined this blue plane okay imaginary plane okay this imaginary plane in which all the electric vectors are confined which passes through the direction of propagation of light it is called as the plane of vibration and the other plane in mutually perpendicular direction okay which is perpendicular to this plane of vibration in which all the magnetic vectors are confined that is called as the plane of polarization okay so don't get confused the plane of polarization consists of all the magnetic vectors the plane of vibration consists of all the electric vectors and they all pass through the direction of propagation of light okay now this process is uh, used to achieve certain effects as i said because in various uh, uh, sensing and transduction techniques uh, the orientation of the electric vectors come uh, comes into play to achieve certain results also in communication systems uh, there are certain things which involve the orientation or bringing all the vectors in one direction we'll discuss about that so now you just understand that polarization brings all the vectors electric vectors especially to one plane or one direction to point them in one direction now uh, there are uh, depending on uh, the ways okay of polarization there are different types of polarized light so especially there are three types one is linearly polarized light in which the tips of the electric vectors they move in a straight line path a rectilinear path in circularly polarized light the tips of the electric vectors they move in a circular path and an elliptical polarized light in which the tips of the electric vectors okay the tips of the vectors they move in an elliptical path okay trajectory is elliptical here it is circular here it is straight line also there are different ways in which polarization is achieved i have not gone into detail because each method is very uh, vast in itself uh, there is no need of that just to understand just so that you know that uh, there are various ways in which polarization is achieved through various optical phenomena that is polarization by reflection refraction scattering double refraction so all these uh, things they involve a suitable material and uh, a, a ref in, in reflection there is uh, the ray of light which is to be polarized it is incident at the interface at a particular angle called as the polarizing angle and as a result of that the reflected ray is uh, uh, 30% polarized like that okay so there is lot of other concepts also so these are not needed right now okay we just need to understand the basic concept of polarization so you just understand this much that the electric vectors of light wave is of prime importance in optoelectronics because it is responsible for all the optoelectrical phenomena polarization is the process of restricting the vibrations the electric vectors in one direction or one plane and to bring them to point them 
in one direction okay so this is what polarization essentially means okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much